so freaking rough. Wait, how did I get here again? Oh yeah, the toe. At the end of June, I smashed my toenail in during a failed attempt at the BC Epic 1000. I was happy with my efforts of riding 450 kilometers in 38 hours straight. It's two months later, and I am back in the wonderful town of Fernie, BC to give it another try in the opposite direction, known to be harder and slower. Time's a wasting. Let's go. joining me. I'm back at it again. Quarter after 10. A little behind schedule. But it's been a great couple of days. I just finished leading the Johan Memorial Ride. That turned out really well. And it's going to be a hot sunny day. Off we go. That was a funny sound. Oh look, my bottle. Now, don't you go anywhere. Working my way through the first long climb. A lot of construction going on. Either pipeline or power line or something anyway. The morning started kind of in the shade, cool. It's definitely hot in the sun. Road's in good shape. of a huge washout and that's only maybe uh, a quarter of it there's a bunch that goes on beyond that uh, that had to walk through we're into the first walking section up to the pipeline down on the river here there's a bunch of anglers and right behind them is a helicopter it looks so cool Almost at the top. <sighs> I can think of worse places to be pushing. This is gorgeous. Okay, maybe that was a little bit too fast. I was kind of freaky in spots.
people that uh, ride west, they miss this turn all the time. See the little sign in the tree on the left? Forget to practice your bike handling skills on a fully loaded rig. You'll never know when you need it. Racing is still racing, and I love going fast. I have to keep my speed in check, because I still want to get home in one piece. Look at me, I'm flying! I'm oh, no, wait, maybe not. All loaded up in Cranbrook, got some uh, chocolate milk in my belly and uh, loaded up with water and a couple of goodies and back on and try to go do the Great Pass at night and hit the ferry at 7 in the morning. Later.
lay down at the top of the pass and, uh, and uh, eat a sandwich. Almost over the pass. My gas tank's empty. I guess I have to ask myself exactly how fast do I want to go down this. Well, I do have new brakes. There's nothing quite like smooth pavement after a long, rough descent. But then again, there's cinnamon buns at Red's Bakery. back of my neck, the Eurowasp. So I put some afterbite on it, keep motoring along. <laughs> 